Hello, guys. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hi. It's me, Renz. And hey, 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 it's your girl, Shans. And welcome to Sit Tight Podcast. Podcast. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> We really tried. We tried. Do you know what I mean? We tried to do the. I tried to do the kind of sec. You know the people the, the, that talk the, to. The, 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 the Hello. One two two. Hello. One two two. One two Hello. One two three. Hello. 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 Oh, my eyebrows even moving. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. How are you, Shan? I'm wonderful. How are you, my darling? I'm great. Thank you for asking. I wanted to get your opinion on something. Go for it. That I saw on social media. Ooh. Oh, mm. I saw on social media. So there was a guy, mm. right, who um, has seven children with seven different women, right? And they are now kind of asking him to take care of his kids. But he is saying that every time he had sex with that those women he told them that he did not want any children so now he feels like i warned you before we slept together you can't now expect me to take care of this child i mean of the children yeah that's a bit mad i can't lie somehow i see what he means but on the other hand i'm like well then, wrap up. Do you, do you, uh, okay. do you get what I mean? I understand his concerns, but I'm so sorry. Why are you not wrapping it up? Why exactly. are you not getting a vasectomy? It, it's, this is what I'm saying. Seven. One, seven. two, three, four, five, six, seven. The thing is, you should have learned after the first one. You're an idiot. The second one, you're a goat. Number three, you're just a waste man. Four, five, and six, seven. You're really trying to be Nick Cannon. Like, stop it. As in, but... The only difference is Nick Cannon is taking care of his kids. Exactly. He's accepted responsibility. Yeah. But this one is saying, I warned you. What's a warning? Well, the warning, his warning was, I don't want to have kids. I don't want babies. So why are you not wrapping it up? Why, don't, why are you not having a vasectomy then? Yeah. But then at the same time, I blame, I also put some blame on the women. Because if you knew you don't want to have babies, but then you, to be, I'll, you should have, basically, hmm. there should have been a discussion that was had. Him giving a warning is not enough. There should have been an informed discussion. But so, it sh should it be informed if it's like just a quick? Well, do you know what? I'll be honest. <laughs> okay. You don't want to have children. Yeah. If you've decided to, hmm, then <laughs> why, didn't decided you, to why didn't you buy the more than other pill? You know well, I mean? why did he, why didn't he buy the more than other pill? Yeah. Or the woman buy the more than other pill? The thing is, like. The women you're going for, you need to be mindful of whether they wanna have children or not. Yeah. So it could you could it could have you could have said a woman that's has been trying to have a child for a long time, whatever happened, yeah, and, and then took the opportunity. That that may have been her only opportunity. Other yeah. women, I I really don't know. I can't speak for them. I can't lie. Yeah. But at the same time, you need to you need to like why don't you wrap it up? Yeah. But also, women, if you knew that he didn't want to have children, why did why you keep it? And not, like, I mean, not, 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 not keep it, but like, why would you not tell him to wear a condom? Yeah, or like, okay, you have the let's say you like, I don't, do you, it's a sticky one because I understand where Is you're coming it from, but then I understand where the women are coming from because at the end of the day, like maybe they they thought they'll be able to take care of the child themselves, but obviously they're struggling, so they're asking for some support. And the thing is, is is there anything wrong with asking for support? for support because it takes two it's, to bring it's, a life it's your child yeah it takes two to bring a life onto yeah. this earth and do you like you're angry the thing is you're not even having i don't know if you've if, if you've even had an informed discussion of all these seven women probably not but you're coming onto social media with half puff blow mm, like blow mm, your house down mm, mm. and it's like saying i'm not taking care of them kids because i told you people will I be looking ya. at you thinking it's like you're a deadbeat dad i mean he is a deadbeat dad but he's not at the same time no, I know it's, it's so strange because there's two sides like i agree with him but then again i don't because seven how is it taking you that do, you didn't learn yeah. your lesson from at least the first two three 
Listen, and it went all the way to seven. And the women, I'm like, oh, oh, sometimes women come. It's oh, Listen, it's, like, it's, it's very clear that this guy is trying to increase the population because we have an aging population. <laughs> and now because he has seven, he's coming. Because the thing is, why did he come out on socials for one, two, and three, but he waited until all seven? Seven, and then he came out. I'm sorry, he has, he has an agenda. Exactly. Men are just, men when it comes to their responsibilities and children is mad. Because there's another one where a woman was like, called her husband, her husband was taking care of the kids. She had just popped out to the shop, right? Um, to kind of say, um, to buy groceries and stuff, because she's always taking care of the kids. And then she calls her husband from the car after getting the groceries. She's like, oh, you will never believe who I met. Like, you know, I met my old time friend. I bumped into her um, and he was like, oh, who is it? And then he was like, she was like, oh, Hannah. And then she, he was like, oh, which one is Hannah? And then he, she was like, oh, the one from college, blah, blah, blah. I just bumped into it. And I just told her that, you know, let's catch up. Let's go get coffee, you know. So, babe, can you take care of the kids for an extra hour or two? The man lost it. Are you joking? He was like, no, what do you mean? I don't know what to do with these kids here. Da, 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 da. And she, she was, he was like, it's my off day. It's my off day. I know what Hannah is like. First of all, at the first instant, you said you didn't know who Anna, Hannah was. So now you're and saying, now you're you, saying know. you know how Hannah was, how, how Hannah is. Like, he's like, you're going out for drinks, you're going to come back. She's like, no, I'm going for coffee. Like, mm. literally coffee. He's like, oh, if you're going for coffee, it shouldn't take one or two hours for you to... And, and it, she was like, these are your kids. Red flag. These are your kids. Why would you have kids with a man like this? Like, sorry, it's giving controlling. Like, coffee one hour bubble tops no i don't like yeah, that yeah he's like oh but who's gonna give them dinner da, 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 da. It's, my off cook? Day. it's my one day that i'm off my one day that... he's saying that as if those are not his kids as well and it's my one day, day she's off. always looking after them so just for one day she's asking me for one day exactly so you catch up with just friend. One, not even like the whole day like an hour just Come an hour on. extra he's like you were supposed to be back 15 minutes ago da, 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 why are you having kids if you can't look after them thank you a woman why are you with a man like that this is what I'm saying. I'm so sorry that they both made a bad decision. Both of them. Like, it's so weird. Like, sometimes you see these things on social media and you're just like, why? And another thing is, you think the children can't can't ear with your conversations. They will listen, they'll be like, raw, like, and does my dad not like me? Them. Exactly, and then it will affect them and how they act as they grow up. Like, guys, you've got to do better. When I mean guys, ladies, gentlemen, you've got to do better. Yeah, Be yeah, mindful yeah, of who yeah, you think yeah. as your partner. Yeah, absolutely. What would you say, like, in terms of if you were, if you had a chance to meet your younger self face-to-face? -face, I'm getting emotional. Fucking hell. Oh, child! If you had a chance to meet your younger self face-to-face -face and give them, like, one or two pieces of advice... Or update them on how life is going. What would you say to them? Well, first of all, I am so proud of you. Mm -hmm. Girl, listen, when you were younger, mm -hmm. people didn't think anything of you. But look at you now. Yeah. You're doing so... In fact, you're doing better than all those people who doubted you. Yeah. You were the real underdog. Yeah. You are shining. You are shining bright like a diamond. Mm -hmm. You proved everyone wrong and mm -hmm. you've made your parents proud. Yeah. What advice would you give them? Listen. Let's say it's like... Your, don't, don't your ten year old self. Listen. Don't try and roll with the cool kids because the cool kids will bring you down. They'll get you into trouble. Mm -hmm. Listen, you don't need to go around and start fighting every single boy or girl in the in the playground. <laughs> you don't need to slap everybody that insults you. You don't need to listen. You are so close to getting excluded. <laughs> You're so close to getting excluded, girl. This violence is not the answer. Yeah. Keep it cute and classy. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And, and the third one. Stay away from men until you're 25. Don't put yourself through that heartache. Oh. All, be all because a man is nice to you, that doesn't mean that he has good intentions for you. Yeah. And also, this is a controversial one. When you were younger, when that man said he wanted to be your friend, he was never your friend. Oh. He just wanted to get his chance to be with you. Oh. Okay. But then he decided to go and check your friend instead. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that is good advice and good kind of update into what you should look forward to in the future um i will say to myself in terms of like update in the future kind of similar to yours to be honest like you will be proud of everything that you've kind of achieved um oh ciao chalet 
um yeah you'll be proud of everything that you've achieved um don't listen to the background noise just every idea that you have in your head go with it roll with it you know all the kind of um listen to your instincts more mm -hmm. like shannon said hmm. don't have a boyfriend <laughs> Do not have a boyfriend because heartbreak, child, heartbreaking on the live view. And <laughs> so face your books, okay? Face your books and um, that friend that you met in college, dump her. Throw her in the dustbin. Don't even be friends with her. Ooh. Um definitely you will definitely be proud of the woman that you've become in what 16 years in about 16 years time so you're 10 so in about 16 years time you would be very proud of the woman that you become you would go through a lot of trials and tribulations but they will make you much much stronger and you will learn to love yourself yes. and once you do that you will not tolerate any any nonsense from anybody you'll be unstoppable unstoppable absolutely there is this website called future me mm -hmm. that i've been using since um college mm -hmm. times and it's a website that you can write yourself letters and you can set a date or a time in which this will send you that letter via your email so I've written many, 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 many. So you can set one for like five years time and you can set one to be sent to you like 10 years time or two months or next week or whatever. And I advise everyone to go and utilize that because that's a very, very good website. Literally, you can write whatever you want to write. You can say, dear future me, maybe you can write, this is what you're going through now. But hopefully by the time you receive this letter, mm -hmm. you would be da, 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 da. You'd be there. Here. And it's been great. It's oh. been so good. I wrote one to myself before I even got my band seven. And when I when I became a band seven and I received it and I was reading it, it was like by now you should be a band seven. I was like, oh my god. I love that. That is so cute. But yeah, no, that's a um yeah. That's a website I think you should use. Oh, I'll definitely try it. Oh, another bit to my younger self. Like yeah. Friendship. Mm. It's not the be all end all. It's not the be all end all. Mm -hmm. Also, just be mindful that not all friendships will last yeah some friendships may be temporary some <laughs> friendships may be long term yeah and just be thankful for the people that you have around you till this day yeah i mean that's yeah i don't know Fri and also friendship breakups are real and it's okay to oh be sad oh my god they hurt they hurt more than real breakups they hurt they hurt because it's like okay when you're boyfriend girlfriend, I get it. Yeah, there's love, da 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 da. Like you talk yeah. to each other, with, but friend is some the person that you went to when your boyfriend was pissing you off. Mm. You guys like knows the ins and out of yourselves and stuff like that. Like, and it's just I don't know why, but they they squeeze the heart a lot of it more than actual like relationship breakups. No, it's true, and it's like imagine. You have a friendship breakup of someone you were friends with for 10 years. Oh, damn. Oh, that... I, I was not able to trust anyone properly for like a good year and yeah, a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That will ruin you, yeah. But the story was a mad. I have a story time. Story time, story time. <laughs> Imagine you have a friend for 10 years mm -hmm. and you were literally... You were like their big sister. Yeah. Whenever they needed anything, you were there. Mm. Even when you came back from uni, you'd always go to them, make sure they're okay. Mm -hmm. But imagine this. Mm -hmm. Let's say, let me, let me, tell me how you think. Mm -hmm. You were friends for 10 years. Yeah. You met a friend through your best friend and you were friends, but then you realised, I don't like this girl, so I'm going to cut her off. Why is, your, why, why is your best friend still friends with that girl? And there's more. Okay. It gets juicier. The plot thickens. The plot thickens. Imagine mm -hmm. that girl that you don't like goes to your best friend's house with her family all around and starts bad mouthing you and they don't defend you. Oh. How did you find out? Oh, there was another friend there who told me what happened. And I was like, wow, I cut her off. You have to. You have to. But then I was stupid because okay. I thought. 
do you know when you just have that bond with someone you want to give them another chance yes yeah, yeah, yeah. so i let them back in oh no big mistake very big mistake yeah and it was very weird. I was getting weird vibes. I did not know what she told other people. Mm -hmm. And then when I, t when I said this, really broke my heart. Oh. The girl that I didn't like mm -hmm. started doing a thing with a guy that I liked. Why was my best friend present eh? and did nothing? Didn't say anything. That's not your friend. That's I'm so sorry. That's not your friend. And in my third year of uni, mm. on my way to get in my first class, and I was like, do you know what? I need to cut this off because that, that felt like betrayal. Mm -hmm. What you did to me before that was a betrayal. I was stupid. I gave you another chance. But then you wanted to do that to me. And the worst thing is, you know, she never told me. I was indirectly told by somebody else. She even went to tell her mother. Huh? But does, does the, the story doesn't concern your mother. You don't come and tell me. No, yeah. I, when I found out, I just cut her off. That's not that's not your friend. A friend can never, a, a friend can never be someone that someone else. From the outside can come and talk bad about you feel so comfortable it, to them yes. to talk bad about you you should someone should never feel comfortable because then if they feel comfortable to talk bad about me mm -hmm. to you what, you what, what have you been saying about me that's what that's why i was like no because I'm they can never if you if you've been defending me all the time they will not continuously come to you because they wouldn't feel comfortable to come to you and talk bad about so i was thinking this girl chatting up about me behind my back and i'm thinking are you okay that's mad i just left those two backup dancers because i can't no no so that was a very very painful friendship do you breakup. have any regrets in life one thing you've done or has happened that you're like damn i regret do you know what it is when yeah. someone does you bad mm. just cut it off you regret just it. I, my one regret is giving people too many chances ciao because if you want to do me bad, oh shame on me for giving you another chance. Yeah. You, you know what? If someone does you bad, mm. what is to say they will not do it again? They because they felt comfortable like, oh, they'll forgive me. Let me go do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. Like, I try not to have any regrets in life. But one, like you said, one thing is definitely giving someone multiple chances when they don't, when, when, and, and then in the end, it does not bear any fruit. Especially if it's disrespect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah 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 definitely definitely giving someone many chances and and like seeing things about them mm -hmm. but trying to but then ignoring it yes it, do you know what ignoring the red just flags. being the kind-hearted person you are mm -hmm. and just giving them the benefit of a doubt one thing i've learned if someone shows me who they are the take first it. time i'm gonna believe it take it i am going to believe it the first time don't sugarcoat it nope Nope, 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 nope. If someone shows you what they are, what they are, yeah. take it as it is. Yeah, absolutely. Because if you don't, shame on you. Honestly, legit, legit. Like, mm. yeah. So that's definitely a regret. But now I'm just learning not to have, just to live life without having any regrets. Because do you know what it is? Every experience shapes you, and it just yeah, shapes you as the person that you are today. So yeah. regrets. Mm, it's a do i regret it i do but at the same time it helped me become it the person that i am yeah, so yeah. boy absolutely. absolutely all those people all those friends yeah i'm talking to all you guys mm -hmm. all you guys that done me dirty where are you now where, where are you now <laughs> you're over there wallowing i know you need me but wherever you are goodbye and i'm doing a lot better without you, you and are. that's on period period mm -hmm. Go be a backup dancer. Go stay at the back of the crowd. I don't need you. I love how you use to describe everyone <laughs> as a backup dancer. <laughs> everyone is a backup dancer nowadays. You see me shining and you're over there in the dance because you messed up with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, have there been any regrets in guys that have been your boy any ex exes that are just i am not that you feel <laughs> this is gonna be so controversial i am not going to i name. swear every episode you say everything's gonna be controversial yeah this is gonna be so controversial and then you go ahead to be controversial oh my god i am not going to date guys from certain countries i'm not going to name the countries <laughs> because a lot of people will actually come and gut my throat mm. but this i'm no no no, no. 
certain countries i will not date you yeah yeah if the, the first impression you give me if that's the impression you give me i'm that's what i'm gonna take you for mm. I'm, I'm i'm sorry i'm not gonna be your mother <laughs> i'm not gonna be so nicey nicey yeah and do you know what it is as well don't have this great expectation that i'm going to do x y and z you need to earn that trust you need to build on whatever we have mm. don't be expecting x y and z from me yeah. you don't put a ring on my finger yeah. i'm not your wife i don't think you answered my question no i didn't <laughs> <laughs> you didn't i'm a waffle i'm guys. looking at you i'm so sorry i'm like bitch you didn't answer the question i'm a bit of a waffler yeah so back to the question yes link the answer to the question yes i will <laughs> Any regrets of any exes that you've been with that you thought, damn, I should not have gotten into a relationship with this person? All of them. Okay. I don't, all of them? All of them. All of them? All of them. There wasn't even one that you thought? No. Okay. All of them. Wow. Because they did not know how to treat a woman. Okay. Fair. That's a all of one. you, I'm looking, all of you look at me right now. You're all douchebags. Look at her. You're all douches. Oh. I hope you build on your communication skills because they're crap. They're bottom. Men and communication, I, I just feel like... They don't, they, that, there was no communication. So the one regret is... I, oh, do you know what it is? What is it? Emotionally unavailable men. That is the regret. Yes. The emotionally unavailable. Yeah. That is the main regret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing is, when, you, when you're younger, how do you clock it? You can't because... You, I, oh, there was something I was gonna say and it's gone out my head. There's something about going for emotionally unavailable men that links back to how you perceive yourself. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Like, mm. oh, how do I explain it? It's getting a bit deep, folks. It's getting so deep. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but really, it's, it's like really and truly deep down do you want this relationship too that's a very good point if you are going for someone that you know is emotionally unavailable for you I, or to you i think it's more so if you know they're emotionally unavailable i think you're more going into it because you just want somebody not yeah because you want the relationship so yeah. you want you like you want the idea of them yeah but not actually them not, that makes sense not, yeah yeah no absolutely i think that was my regret i never wanted any of them i think it was the idea so it's the idea of having somebody. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, guys. It's what it is. God damn. That's why you tried to communicate with me and <laughs> you think I answered you. <laughs> I definitely regret going on Hinge. That place is a devil's playground. I'm so sorry. Can we talk about Hinge? Because <laughs> that place is the devil's playground. Do you know? That I'm... is where the devil goes and have fun. The... And when I mean the devils, you know what I mean. You you know what I mean when I say the devil's playground. Yep, hinge. Like, do you know? I have a general question. Do people generally go on dating apps to find love? Some people do. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. At some point in my deleting and going back on hinge many, 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 many a times, I thought I would actually come out with something. You know. I feel like, isn't it Tinder that people just go on to have hookups? I think people use any sort of app. Nowadays. True, that's true. It's but initially, like... I think Tinder was just like a, oh, let's yeah, yeah, hook up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because it was, it was to do with like locations and stuff, so it would be easy access for you to go and whatever. And Hinge is just... It's more about building connections, as it says in the yeah, advert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes like people put, put that in their like prompts like mm -hmm. you know this is what i'm here for blah blah mm -hmm. blah this is what i'm here for but then again men some men just don't put their real intentions no they mask there. it no they absolutely do mask it like that place it's just yeah i've literally i think i delete <laughs> when i was single i downloaded it and deleted it so many times because i can't keep up with speaking to more than one man yeah do you know what i cannot I keep up like i am the because it's like how do you remember what you've said to the it's other true, person? It's true. How do you remember that you've not already told them this, and or you're telling like, oh, I don't, I don't know how men do it. I think they, I think men broadcast the message to all the girls. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how was your day? Hello, how was your day? Send it to Babe. Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Monica, Trisha, Sarah, Jessica. Zoom send. 
Like I, d I can't do it. Like I'm more like a focusing on one person. No, me too. Type of girl. Like how can you? It's the thing is as well. Like if it's one person, you kind of okay. You kind of know where the conversation yeah, is. Yeah, you know whether it's phone yeah, or not. But yeah, if it's multiple yeah. people, you might be like, "You're right, Dom." Yeah, oh, so Dom. Oh, um, Thomas, how was your day? Yeah, but yeah. then Thomas was like, "You already asked me and about then, my day." And then imagine if you break up something that they've already told you. Oh. Or you break up something that they didn't tell you. But the other guy told you. Yeah, but it's, you it's a bit sticky. <laughs> but the thing is, that's how you're supposed to be dating, though. You're supposed to be dating multiple people at the same time. I think I'm old fashioned. I, 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 I yeah, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I definitely had a friend. Like, well, no, I've got two friends who are great friends and they know who they are. And they did being single so well. They had a freaking roster. Like, every single week, they were going on a date with a different person. Gosh, they used to give us master classes. And now one <laughs> and now one of them has a boyfriend out of it. You've got to just because how are you meant to know? You've got to just date date multiple. Or just true. I'm not saying date and sleeping with them all at the same time. Just dating to get getting to know so that you know you can come and say, right, this one out of all the three or four is the one that maybe I want to focus on down the line. So then you drop the other three. But me, myself, and hi, I can't do it. Same mum. I can't, I can't do it. It's too much. It is a lot. It's a it's lot too much. much. But do you know what's good about having a roster? Yeah. It's like WWE and you've got your game console. You get to pick what wrestler you want to use to wrestle somebody else. That's how us women should be. We should have a whole roster of men. Go on all your dates and then just mm. pick out this one, this one, this one. And then you just get rid of the rest and just block them all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I think that's the best way to date because at least you you have options. Like yeah. how men have options. Yeah, yeah. We should be giving ourselves that same options. We yeah, need to have yeah. the same opportunities. You, you, you do. Like, it's, it's so weird because... Like, there was one point where I was talking to my boyfriend now and someone else before we became boyfriend and girlfriend. So there was one. And I was just like, how the hell do people do this? <laughs> <laughs> like, how, 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 how do people do this? And luckily, the other guy fucked up big time. So I was just Good. like, do you know what? Bye. And then, you know, as soon as I became boyfriend and girlfriend with my boyfriend, what do you think about that, actually? Do you go straight away to the people that you're talking to and say, Hello, hi. Like, I have a boyfriend now because that's what I did. No, I do. I do out of respect. I'll yeah. Say, like, by the way, but some of them don't deserve it, though. Oh no, if you don't deserve it, I ain't telling you. Some of them don't deserve like, it. Like, if you've been, if we, if we've been on like cordial terms, I'll be like, by the way, I've got a boyfriend, just to let you know. Mm -hmm. If not, and I don't like you, you, yeah. can, you can find out on my socials. Yeah. Sorry. I felt so weird. I just wanted to delete them and just, but I was like, no, let me just, you know. So you know, you you, you go and you write the message. Hi, you know, <laughs> I've got a boyfriend now, so you're not going to be hearing from me again. You know, this is our last. I think I've said that before. Like, like, oh like, yeah, I'm it. like, I'm dating someone, so just to put it out there, like, yes. So you're not shocked. Yeah, like my no, my attention is elsewhere. Yeah, it's common courtesy, but the thing is, yes. men don't do that. They don't do that. So why are we doing that? Mm. Men don't do that. You know what? Do you know? You know what I realize when they lose interest, you don't hear from them. Like yeah, it's, it's the yeah, replies yeah. get dead on, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, 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 and, yeah. and before you know it, they pop up with another girl. Do you know what I mean? And then do you know so what? What's bad when they break up with that girl? All of a sudden, you're right. I'm not your backup option. No, you're not a backup dancer. For reals. No. We're not, we, we don't do backup dancers. No, we're not students. We're, we're not fries. We're not babies. We're not babies. <laughs> <laughs> we are not babies we are the main course. We are the main motherfucking course. We okay? need to be in the Shangri-La. Yeah. The Ritz. <laughs> Where is the first date that you're like, no? Don't take me to the cinema because you're not going to come talk to me. Uh, listen, I, I never say, I don't get how cinemas can be first date. Because you're not paying attention to me. You're paying attention to the movie. But I think you can't even pay attention. How are you going to get to know each other you're when you're gonna, sat in you're the dark to with me. other people trying to watch a movie? I'm going to get to know the movie, not you. So not take exactly. Me. But what if, it, what if it's like cinema, then dinner? Okay, cinema, dinner's nice. But then why can't they do dinner, then cinema? Because dinner, you talk, you get to know each other. Mm -hmm. So that when you go to watch the movie... You have more of like that rapport, you know. You but know. they don't think like that. No, they don't. I don't understand how they think. How but how, how can you even suggest, like, as a man, as a big, big man at your age? I, if someone asked me to the cinema, how as can a you first suggest date? cinema as a first date? Nah, it's, it's no, what would be a nice? What's your ideal first date? Take me to the arcade. Oh, let's do let's, let's nice. do like an activity. I like bowling. I like I, bowling. I, yeah, bowling as a first date. I love that. I like golf. golfing is nice as well. Golfing as as nice. a first date, that's nice. Something that you're able to talk and do at the same time. Yeah. Dinner, you know, yeah. activities, arcades will be nice. Yeah, I feel like arcades I love are nice. Yeah.
That would be a good one. Come I think that would be a good one. Come on, guys. Cinema on the... No. Step step up the game. Step it up. Step, step it, it up. up. Step it up. Step it up. So, like, if you're talking to me, you're like, oh, let's go cinema. You just... Do you know what? I don't trust guys that say that. Only because... Imagine you're sitting in the cinema. They'll, they'll just try to touch your leg. Why are you touching that's me? The, that's when the one movement... Why are you touching me? Did mm -hmm. I give you permission? Mm -hmm. So you want to go, so if you find me to cinema, I'm going to focus on the movie. Because yeah. that's where my attention is at. Yeah. If you try to, I can't lie, I'm going to punch you. <laughs> but some, some people do some things in the cinema. But I'm not that girl. No, as in like, if you, if not as a first date, though, mm. but like someone that maybe you're seeing or a boyfriend. Oh, okay, like further down the line, that's fine. But mm. if it's like a first date. That's fine. Just don't, just, just, no, just. <laughs> On the first day, if you take me to the cinema, don't touch me. I'll focus on the movie. I, would, I wouldn't even agree to go to the cinema. I, I a, haven't. The moment they... No, like, if you say cinema, I'll be like, what the... And can we talk about men that don't know how to plan dates? <gasps> okay, oh, I need to sit God, up like, tight for this. I know I like planning things, but sometimes you too... No, it has to be initiative. You the thing think, is, if, oh. you, if you ask a girl out... I'm expecting you to plan. Yeah. I can't lie, I'm expecting you to yeah. pay as well. You, you, oh God, the pay. Okay, let, 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 yeah. The thing That's is, like, if you invite me out, I expect you to plan. Because if I was to invite you out, I would be planning it. I'd be planning it. It's yeah. just an expectation. You can't just say, oh yeah, let's go on a date and then ask me, so what, where are we going? I will push it back and say, well, you ask me, you plan it, you come and tell me yes. the, the time, when, where I need to meet you, and True. we'll go. Like, because the thing is, I'm sure you'll have such. The thing is, there's TikTok, there's so many suggestions. Or even go look on Groupon if you want to save money. Because Groupon has some good deals, I can't lie. No, Groupon, Groupon and Wild Child? They have good deals. Oh. So you don't have to splash out on no. anything. No. Just use your initiative. Yeah. The same way you expect us to use, use our initiative to look good and turn up. Mm, true. Yeah. But talking about first dates, if a guy invites I you can't out, believe this is still a topic <laughs> in the society that we have to talk about who bloody pays on a first day. I can't believe this is still a thing. I cannot believe it. Okay, So <laughs> I, I just can't believe it. If a guy invites a lady out on a on a first date, do you expect the man to pay? If they invited me and it's a first date, I'm not gonna lie, yes. Me too. Yes. Only because it's the first time you're meeting. And if you've invited me out, I do expect you to What if you invited them out and it's the first date? But I didn't do was, that. It was your... <laughs> I'm so, so bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're not... It's true. It's true. Why must we ask as a first date? Like, why am I asking? And you know what the worst... Like... <laughs> also, when you are... Do you know what? How do men ask women out on a date? Because that's a... In the same age, some people be like, oh yeah, we need to meet up. Oh yeah, they say we need to that's, meet that's up. That's not that's asking not, me out on the first not day. Asking on the, on the we need to meet up. I can meet up with my friend. How would they, how would they ask? I'm trying to think how... If I'm or like, oh, would you like to go out for dinner? Or Are like, we in the 80s? I'm oh, sorry, I'm old-fashioned. <laughs> oh, oh, like, would you... Oh, like, oh, would you like to go... I don't know, let's... let's would you like to go I'm to trying to remember how my boyfriend asked. Um, well, it's like a would you like, it's like an invitation. I'm, I'm oh god i don't i don't remember but is it is there specific like i feel like there's a way that you know that they're asking you yeah yeah obviously not what you said that they say like oh, oh let's 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 let's, let's me up let, let's me up i don't like that I, I let's me up okay where in heaven hey! let's me up where i don't know they're making it there <laughs> this is just what i'm trying to say in heaven because i'll be stood up <laughs> because i'll be there and you'll be turned back <laughs> When you get to the pearly gates, <laughs> you won't be making it. Um, no, there's definitely, I don't know what the right way is, but there is yeah. a wrong way. I feel like there's a wrong way. There's definitely a wrong way. Oh, let's meet up. Or, or come see me. Come see me. Come see you where? Come see me. Come see me where? I... <clears throat> come see me. That's so informal. I'm not your mate. Do you know what they also do when, 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 when you know that your first date is not going to be out of the house? They ask you, do you live alone? <gasps> do you live alone? Why are you asking about my financial circumstances? Are you going to pay for my rent? Don't ask me. Do you live alone? But that's the thing. They only ask you because they are the ones still living with their parents mm. and they want to be able to come to your house on the first day. Why are you going to come? I don't know if you're going to come. Uh, listen on the first day i'm so sorry ladies i am not going no. to your house no i am actually 
what's the word? Contradicting myself here because I've done it before. But let me tell you the story. Mm. The story is, mm. it was around COVID times, but we were still able to, those were the ones where they were slowly still opening things, but things were not fully open. Mm. Again, met someone on the devil's playground mm. called The Hinge. Mm. And um, our first date was me going, going to his. Hmm. To watch a movie. So my man didn't cook for you. No. Oh, get out of here, man. Was there even food? Oh, your bottom. This, this is why I'm saying hmm. Hinge is the devil's playground. Bottom barrel. Is, at least even order something or ask me. Let's you know order what? Or something. Like, would you like? Nah. Would you ask? Yeah, like order or cook. Yeah. But come on, sh like she was not your mate. No, no, no. We watched a movie and. The most we did on that day is kiss. I'm so sorry, but the kiss wasn't great. It's it's. Do you know what it's given? It's given like secondary school. Oh, do you wanna to come to my house? The kiss. You're a grown kiss man. Oh, that even makes everything worse. But that wasn't even his house. That was he was house sitting for his brother. <gasps> I I have. This is why I said that place is is the devil's playground. Are you not ashamed? <laughs> Right, you would think that, but I'm not gonna lie. During those times, I was going through some. I was going through some things. Mm. You would think that I wouldn't give him a, a, a another chance. I gave this guy two more chances, Man. and those two more chances were still at the house. My man's looking like a bomb. Clearly, at that point, I didn't know myself worth, because god damn. But to be fair, it, it, I was still kind of newly single. Mm. And I, after being in a relationship for seven years, I was still like newly single. So I didn't know how this dating oh, yeah, yeah, things, yeah. you know, kind of worked. I was just like, how oh, dare wow. It was, did yeah. He, did he cook for you? He did not, Shannon. Ne not once did we eat in that house. I remember one of the, t when was it? I think was the last time or the second time. I was very cold in the house. <laughs> I was very, very cold. You know what? That's very, very cold. Like, when you have a guest come to your house, you got to have bare minimum. It wasn't his house. <laughs> but even if it's not your house, you've just got to, like, if someone's coming over, you need to make sure they're warm, make sure they're fed, mm -hmm. make sure they're comfortable. Mm -hmm. The fact that if you, oh. Listen. Did you even get, oh. Did I have a what? I didn't get food. I didn't get water. This is really disappointing. Very disappointing. It's like going to a restaurant and, and, and there's no food. Or you get co served cold food. It's disappointing. I swear your analogies gets me every time. It's just, it's just <laughs> bad. But yeah, this is why I say that place is the devil's pick. Yeah, dating apps are not it. And mm -hmm. also, please, men, if it's if you if you invite a girl out for a first date, mm -hmm. pay. Because if you're inviting her, pay. And so, yeah. also, organize it as well. You some if you if you want ideas, go ask your mates. TikTok, bro. Like TikTok, Instagram. Like there's so many suggestions. Yeah, like and dress well. And literally, the easiest one you can say is let's go out for dinner. That's the easiest mm -hmm. date you can find. If you want to save money, can... go for the lunch menu. Yeah, like or if you want to save money, bowling is not that expensive. Or Groupon, voucher, oh, experiences. Oh, like, like, do you know what? Just put in some effort because you always expect the woman to make some effort, but you should also make some effort too. But then, if it's not a first date, and then you're the one that asks the man to go out would you pay <laughs> so when do you start paying shannon <laughs> when do you start paying probably after the third day do you pay the whole bill or do you split it i'm more of a split it girl okay first day you pay for me then we'll split two and three after that <laughs> okay, after that, if I invite you somewhere, mm -hmm. I'm using group on a watch because I ain't paying for money. <laughs> I will pay. Yeah. It's really, do you know it's a struggle for me to get that out of my mouth? <laughs> I'll pay the fourth date. You'll pay on the fourth date? <laughs> if you, what if he asked you? Oh, you're paying, babe. Okay. What did we learn in this episode? Shannon doesn't want to pay for anything. <laughs> <laughs>
Shadow on the man to pay. Or we can or we can split the bill. What we've learned from this episode, um, men yeah. should always ask the girl out on a date. Yeah. There's no right yeah. or wrong way, but just I don't want to hear come to my house yeah. or I don't want to hear oh let's meet up or come yeah. see me. I'm yeah, not your yeah, mates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're on hinge, tell the girl what your intention is because most men on hinge, your intention is not to be in a relationship. Please. Before coming. If you wanna if you want I would rather they would have told me, yeah, listen, this is what I'm on here for. Mm -hmm. You know, just be just, honest. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, the beginning of the episode was quite deep. Very deep. It's good advice. Guys, check out Future Me. This is not an ad. But that's a very good website. Write right, letters to yourself and then letters to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You can even you know you can even read other people's letters. But they like publish it like anonymously. Ooh. Like so you can read what other people have been writing to yeah. themselves and stuff like that. Get some inspo guys. Yeah, and then sometimes like when the letter gets sent to you, you can put an update. Oh that's amazing. You can write an updated like reply to the letter. Okay, that's cool. So yeah. Right. Well, thank you guys thank for you. tuning in. Whether it be Spotify, Anchor, or watching us on YouTube. YouTube. It's been me, Renz. And it's been me, Shaz. Bye-bye.